are up bright and early, off to an adventure. We are going to make our way over to this precious town on the east coast of Florida called St. Augustine. It's a really special place for us because we've been traveling there every single January for the past seven years and it's just a tradition at this point. So I'm really excited to take you all along and show you all of the neat spots. There's a lot of history and definitely a lot of Spanish colonial architecture because this city has been around for many, many years. So excited to show you all the beauty of it and let's hit the road. I'm done over my shoulder. made it to the city and before we park which typically we just park on the side streets typically closer into the residential area and it's we pretty much every single time have found a parking spot so that's great but they also have different paid parking lots and whatnot so don't worry about parking but before we park and start walking to our first destination we are stopping at a little free library because I totally forgot to bring my book with me and one of our favorite things to do here is hang out at one of the local coffee shops called the Kookaburra and read our books. So I forgot my book, but I was thinking we could just stop at this cute little free library and pick one up. And if you haven't heard of the little free library, essentially it's this organization where different people put these little mini houses full of library or books in front of their homes and anyone can just come and access it and you can leave a book. So it's just such a cute concept and I'm thankful for it at a time like today. Maybe someday when I've grown older I can see it all clear from above Looking back on it all Maybe I can see what was broken What's it gonna be? The books were really super speaking to me but I did pick this one up and maybe we'll give it a try let me know if you've read it also for the little free library if you go to the website you can search your zip code or whatever zip code you're in and it'll show you a map of all the little free libraries in that area Every single year, once we roll into town, is Custo's Waffle and Milkshake Bar. It is so delicious. So we just stroll around St. George Street until we make our way over. We've tried a few different things throughout the years, but our favorite is the Kingsley, which is a Belgian waffle with peanut butter, honey, banana, whipped cream, powdered sugar. It is so delectable. My mouth just waters thinking about it, but it was nice to be able to sit outside and enjoy that and get some fuel fuel for the rest of our day. So once we finished with that, we just strolled along St. George Street, looked at all the beautiful buildings. There's lots of different historical signage and plaques throughout the city since it is so old. There's so many different monuments and historical sites. So we love to stop and take it in and read a little bit about the history as we stroll. And we made our way over to the iconic Castillo de San Marcos. And this is one of the hot spots of the city and definitely a reason why many people go on field trips if you grew up in the state of Florida and went to public school, you probably had a fourth grade field trip to St. Augustine. Shout out to all the fellow Florida public school kids. It is always ingrained in my memory. It was such a fun field trip. But Castillo de San Marcos is 
definitely unique because it is actually the oldest masonry fort in the continental United States. So it is quite old. There's a lot of history and we've both been inside the fort. You can actually go on tours and just do a self-guided tour if you feel like it. And it is super interesting, but it's not something we want to do every single time we go. So typically we'll just roam around the perimeters, look at the beautiful view of the water and take it in. And just a little bit about it, the fort was constructed to protect Spain's settlement in St. Augustine from pirate raids and other different imperial powers. And it really is just incredibly architecturally impressive. And it's just so incredible that it's so old, yet it's still standing tall and strong. And to that point, the fort is such a strong and unshakable structure because it's made of coquina, which is essentially a rock made of seashells. And many of the homes and buildings contain this coquina because it's such an excellent building material. It does come with its problems, but it's very, very firm and strong, which of course is very useful for a fort structure. Once we were finished at the fort, we roamed around St. George Street for a bit more and then we popped into one of our favorite dining spots, which is the Floridian. I absolutely love the eclectic decor of this place and they have lots of different vintage pieces, which just makes it a fun and funky atmosphere. And the menu reflects the atmosphere beautifully. They have lots of Southern inspired dishes, but I would say they're very inspired and have a bit of a twist. And they also have lots of vegan and vegetarian options. So if that's something you prefer, this is definitely Definitely a great spot for you. Once we were finished eating, we roamed around a bit more. We just absolutely love looking at the architecture and the houses. It really never gets old. And then we went over to our bed and breakfast to check in. We stayed at the Bayfront Marin house. It's so sweet because Brandon's parents actually gave us a gift certificate to stay here for Christmas, which is such a thoughtful and generous gift. So we were so excited to actually stay the night because typically when we come to St. Augustine, we usually will just stay for the day. So it was super sweet to be able to have extra time to explore. You come in, we have a whole mansion up here. You come in, here's Brandon's desk. He's <laughs> gonna make some big moves <laughs> with the glow. And then you walk into the formal living room. That's how I would describe it. With a little dining table, fireplace. Wow, wow, wow. And you have some beautiful portraits, some nice views of historic downtown St. Augustine. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and then we have this little bar with some chocolate covered strawberries, yum. And then you walk in to the bedroom. So beautiful. Got some coffee maker, the view of the water. And then we have our gorgeous bed with the hearts and the flower petals, super cute. And then we walk into the bathroom, which you can see the water as you come into the bathroom. Oh, there's a trolley going by too. Cute. Shower, lovely, lovely. And then this connects back where we started. So that's where we walked in. And then we have a little balcony right here too. So fun. Are you gonna let us out? Wow. <laughs> in our chairs, wow. Wow, beautiful. Little table. Stunning. Since the bed and breakfast is so centrally located, once we were settled into our room, we were able to just park our car and then walk back over to the core downtown area. And we went to one of our favorite coffee shops here, which is called the Kookaburra. And this is just such a great location. They actually have a few locations, but we love this one by the treasury right on King Street. It is just a great spot to people watch and take in the sunshine. And that's precisely what we did. We sat here for probably an hour just soaking it all up. 
had so much fun soaking up the coffee scenes and just taking it all in, right? That was lovely. Such a beautiful day. It is getting chilly though. I'm relative, it's always relative when I say it's getting chilly, but I could wear, I could definitely be wearing some leggings or something under this dress, but we're off to the beach, gonna get that salty ocean breeze and watch the sunset. The sunset technically, it sets on the west coast of Florida, but it's still so beautiful to see. Just the colors fade and the ocean at dusk. So that's where we're headed. And then we still need to figure out what the dinner plan is because you're not hungry yet. I'm getting a little hungry. I'm really not. No. You're really not? No. I had a big lunch. Yeah, lunch was fabulous, but I'm getting hungry. I want something warm, like pasta or something just cozy. So we'll hopefully find a delicious place later on. our time at the beach we drove back to old town and walked around for a bit it was extra special because the knights of lights is currently going on which is a lights festival that begins in november and then continues through the end of january and this was our first time really taking it in so that was really really sweet and there really are so many beautiful lights and the Night of Lights is actually listed among the top 10 holiday light displays in the world by National Geographic. So that's exciting. And St. Augustine really is just a glow with holiday magic and it's a beautiful sight to see. So we strolled around, took it all in, and then Brandon found us a yummy dinner spot. Like I said earlier, I was craving just a warm, cozy meal and pasta was calling my name. So he found this place called Pizza Alley, which is right off St. George Street. So it's super convenient and we were able to get a table outside right away. After dinner, we grabbed some ice cream at May Day, which is so delicious. We had a dark chocolate flavor and then also a peanut butter flavor and both of them were so delectable. And I love that they give you sprinkles and these special little wafers to go with your ice cream. All in this, I stand alone 
show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't Good morning, it's a glorious morning here in St. Augustine not a cloud in the sky and it's quite chilly so it's always such a novelty in florida to get to bundle up it feels so refreshing brandon's currently sitting on the porch out front journaling being such a cutie i'm gonna try to do a cheeky little video of him sneaky little video of him to document that because it's so lovely just to take it slow enjoy the morning so that's precisely what we've been doing we felt like a king and queen with breakfast in bed this morning such a treat it was bananas fosters bananas foster casserole and we had some fruit and coffee and oj so delightful and the rest of the day we're really just gonna organically explore see what calls our name let's see we'll probably stop at a new coffee shop try a different place out we love the kookaburra so maybe we'll go back over there but i'd love to try out a different spot as well and probably grab some lunch and maybe drive by the beach this morning we also just want to roam around the residential streets we love looking at the old historic houses and buildings so we'll probably spend some time doing that but i'm excited to spend more time with you all today morning roaming the streets which may seem a bit monotonous but it really is just so beautiful here and the buildings are just so awe-inspiring and I love to see the varying architecture and just how people cherish and preserve these older homes it's just a beautiful sight to see so we took that in and then we passed the Leitner Museum which is another great destination we actually have never been inside but we love walking around the grounds but if you love art definitely check it out and it's just a really incredible building with a lot of history so that's a great spot to add to your list and it's right next to Flagler College which is a highly accredited liberal arts school and it's absolutely gorgeous. starting to get hungry again we went to Sweetwater Coffee Bar and Gallery this was our first time here but we absolutely loved it we each got the great white bagel which was a vegetarian option with mozzarella and spinach and red onion it was so simple yet so delicious it also had some balsamic on it and it was so yummy so we got it to go and we just ate it across the street in front of the Leitner Museum and we were able to soak up the sun people watch and just look at the gorgeous architecture finished eating we walked across the street over to Flagler College and we looked down the courtyard a bit it kind of gives me Hogwarts vibes a little bit with the frog fountain it's just really beautiful to see and just has a mystical aura with all the little intricate details and carvings and elements to the building we try to squeeze as many coffee shops in as possible whenever we visit a different city so as we made our way back to St. George Street we popped in a few different spots on our way to Relampago Coffee Lab which this was our first time coming here as well and it was very delicious we got a mocha and the barista was super sweet
also passed the oldest wooden schoolhouse, which is right on St. George Street. And this is such an iconic spot because it's actually claimed to be the oldest wooden school building in the country. And the exact date of construction isn't exactly known, but it first appears on tax records as early as 1716. So again, another iconic spot and you can take a little tour of the place, get some school supplies. It's one of those hotspot tourist destinations. After we finished strolling the streets a bit more, we decided to make our way back home, but we wanted to take a detour. We wanted to take the long way home because we were just having so much fun. So we rode along A1A, which is a north-south Florida state road that runs along the Atlantic coast. So it was really beautiful to see the ocean and the coastal homes that line the ocean. Raga Surf Cafe, which our friends Stephen and Bree actually recommended to us. We ran into them on our first day in St. Augustine and they told us about this spot, which I'm so glad they did. We absolutely loved it. I mean, the views of the ocean, the food, the people, all around, it was a beautiful experience. Brandon got some organic chicken tacos and we also got these little mini croissants with a compote and some cream. Everything was so yummy. Oh, and I also got a salted caramel latte, which yum. There's something so euphoric about sipping a delicious latte by the ocean. It is just one of the most special things in life, in my opinion. And we were able to see some dogs running along the beach. It was just such a beautiful day and beautiful moment. Praise God, and I'm going to turn the rest of my latte that we picked up into an iced coffee because I have some left that's getting kind of cool. Back with our little bestie. <laughs> my mom watched him as we were gone and he always has the best time with her. He is obsessed with her. I'm so glad we took the long way home, took a little detour, enjoyed nice. the ocean breeze a little bit longer. Thank you guys so much for following along with us. I hope you enjoyed this little sweet 30 hour, would you say it was like a 30 hour trip to St. Augustine? Yeah. Yeah. Now. Perfect amount of time. We squeezed in a lot and I feel like we just did a lot slower pace, which was nice. We took our time just to take it yeah, in. Yeah, a long amount of time. To yeah. Do stuff, so. Yeah. What was your favorite nice. part? Probably sitting outside the coffee shop. That was nice. Beautiful too. weather. Yeah, the weather was Watching glorious. People, talking if to people. Are, yeah, yeah. Nice connections, people. human connections. We love it. Pleasant human connections. So if you are going to come to St. Augustine, we're a little biased because we only come in January pretty much, but I feel like that is such a beautiful month. But I will say, if you want to spend most of your time at the beach, it is a bit ch chilly. Yeah, so, not to go to the beach. Don't you have go to, in January. Yeah, if you want to go to the beach, go in summertime. But it really is such a beautiful place. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and we cannot wait to see you next. Bye. Bye.